Hello everybody, my name is Zoltan Venaj, I am a structural engineer from Budapest, Hungary and this is the 100 Wonders of Parametric Design, the third edition. Uh, it is about the uh, wired structures, uh, which consist of wires and struts, compression elements. Uh, the basic idea came from a Swedish uh, furniture store. I've been visited lately and I've seen uh, this uh, lamp which actually fired my imagination. This is a very simple structure. It actually consists of uh, steel frames, like here, and where the steel frames, and uh, these ropes, colored ropes. It looks funny, but it's a very interesting structure. Uh, under uh, self-weight, it is a symmetrical structure, and uh, but if I'm creating some disturbances, I actually I'm pushing it with my finger, it starts to, to behave in a very strange way and a very interesting way and I thought that it's in, uh, maybe it's a good idea to investigate this behavior. So the, uh, in order to model this, uh, I'm created a, like this one, a circle here. This is uh, the steel rope, the rigid steel uh, uh, frame. I applied uh, a linear array here you can see it can be changed the number of uh, the levels I actually set it uh, for 16 for example I can change the radius of the of the lamp itself you know like here uh, it, you can see later that this uh, will be divided to segments uh, and I can change the height of the levels here yeah so uh, make some rotation over this. I divided it to uh, every circle is divided to, uh, to, to to smaller segments. I'm connect those segments like this one, and uh, these are the these are the rigid steel ropes. So this is, these are the <coughs> steel elements, like here. And um, I have uh, the, the wires, which are tension elements. Uh, actually, those are modeled here. Okay, so this is basically the model. I use the dynamic relaxation, the older version of Kangaroo. I used that one because uh, the I wanted to obtain the, the stresses in the element because the ba main, the basic idea was to to ha uh, eliminate the the ropes when basically they can they go under compression they are buckling you know they they don't have a compression stiffness so I must uh, uh, have some uh, way to identify those elements. So let's see how does it work here. I uh, I have support at the end, and I have a loading a uniform loading along the structure. Okay, you can see here. Well, just a moment. Uh, okay, this is the model. I start the simulation, the dynamic relaxation here. Okay, start to deform. Every rope is divide to, divided to three parts, so the ropes can buckle. You can see here, the ropes are angled like this one. So they actually doesn't uh, have any force, doesn't carry any force carry, I guess, in the structure. It looks very nice, yes. Okay, and uh, what is interesting, then during the relaxation, the elements are, the ropes are still on their position, so I'm not eliminating them from the process itself. So, uh, let's see what are the tension parts here. Uh, I'm measuring the original length and the deformed length, and uh, based on the ratio, I can identify those elements that are in tension, like here. And this is the basic idea here. 
I'm I'm having the the rigid frames and only the tension ropes which are under tension you know which carries force here uh, controlling the ratio I can select those elements like this and using the action skeleton component I can um, have a nice view of them like here okay so basically this is a structure uh, which has an optimal shape uh, for for this uh, force uh, system uh, <clears throat> these are the active elements which are actually working uh, to carry these uh, <clears throat> forces uh, well i hope you enjoyed it see you next time bye bye